Hello viewers, Wagada Runal taking you through the story of A-level subsidiary mathematics and this video will be on the topic of logarithms and it's suitable for students in both senior 5 and senior 6 offering subsidiary mathematics as part of their combination. Now before we go to the topic, let's look at the course outline so far. So, as paper of subsidiary mathematics, it's only one paper and it has three sections. So the first section is pure mathematics and that section, four questions are coming in section A and, four, and two in section B and these are the topics up to here. So 16 topics then for mechanics, there are five topics and five, one question comes in section A, one section B and for statistics and probability, there are 10 topics and three come in section A and three in section B. So a logarithm of a number to a given base is the power to which the base must be raised to give the number. Therefore, when a number is expressed in the index form, which is a to power x, x is called the logarithm and a is called the base. Therefore, if I have a to power x and is equal to y, it implies that log base a of y is equal to x, where x is the logarithm of y to base a. So if I have 3 to power, f if we know that 3 to power 4 is equal to 8 to 1, it implies that log base 3 of 8 to 1 will be equal to 4. So there are some rules which you need to know while simplifying logarithmic expressions. One is the rule for addition. So in this case, we must note that the base is the same. So it is the same and yet it is addition to imply that these two will be multiplied to give this. If the base is the same and this is subtraction, then these two will be, will be divided to get this. And log base c of a to power n, this power can go this side to come up to become n log base c of a. And since we know that a to power 0 is already, in number to power 0 is equal to 1, temp, then log base a of 1 is equal to 0. So this a can be any base. Then also we know that a to power 1 is equal to a, therefore log base a of a is equal to 1. Now this a and a can be any base also. But as long as they are similar, it will cancel to give you 1. So sometimes they will give you logarithms without a base. So when the base is not implied, it implies that it is base 10. For example, they just say log a, it implies log base 10 of a. So now let's go f through some of the questions. Question 1 says, show that this is equal to that. So we shall start from the left hand side. Left hand side is that. Then we shall try to simplify. Now bring this one here, it becomes 4 squared. Then bring this half here, it becomes 25 squared. Because then number to power half is equal to square root. Now this 4 squared is 16 and this root of 25 is 5. Then from there I shall say this plus this, it because these two will be multiplied, that's why you see this. Then this resultant minus this, it implies that this output will be divided by this 20. So when you try to cancel, you realize that this is 1, this is 4, then 16 over 4 will be 4. Now 4 is the same as 2 squared, and therefore bring this 2 comes inside to become 2 log 2. So now shall go to question 2, which says that without using tables or calculator, simplify this. So that is what is given. Now this half when it goes this side becomes six, 1,016 divided 1,600 divided to power half, which is the square root. Then this two comes this side become x over five squared. Now the whole of this will give you that. And this one, remember, it is division, meaning that when you expand, it will be here subtraction. 
So this one, x squared gives you this, and this 5 squared gives you that. So when I open this bracket, you realize that this minus now becomes plus because it is minus minus. Therefore, this and this can cancel to remain with only this and this, which is that. So same base, it means that it should be this times this, which is that. I know that this gives you 1000. And 1000 is 10 to power 3, so this 1000 will become 10 to power 3. Then this power can go this side to become 3 log base 10 of 10. And we know that since these are the same, it implies that become the whole of this becomes 1. And 3 times 1 is 3. So now we shall go to question 3, which says that evaluate that. So first of all, this 2 and 6 is the same as 6 to power 3. 6 to 4 is the same as 2 to power 6. 2 for 3 is the same as 3 to power 5. 0 0.1 is the same as 10 to power negative 1. So when I take this power down here, it will become this. Take this one here, it will become that. And also take this one here, it will become this. Take this negative here, it will become that. So next, this is 1, that is why you see here 3. This is also 1, that's why you see here 6. And this is also 1, that is why you see here 5. And this is 1. That is why you see here now, negative and negative gives you positive. That is why there is plus there. So simplifying this will give you 1.5 as the answer. So now shall go to question 4, which is that given that p is equal to this and q is equal to that, find the value of p plus q. So we are going to first simplify p. So p is there, come and simplify it. This is multiplication, so that is why you see addition. Then this power can go this side to come to become this, and also this power can go this side to become minus 2. Now this one becomes 1, and also, so this one becomes 1, that is why you see here 3 minus 2 log base a of y. What about 2? When we bring 2 here, so this is a product, so that is why you see addition there. Then this one becomes 1, and also this 2 can go this side to become 2 log base a of y. Therefore, we are told to get the value of p plus 2, so come and substitute for p here and for 2 here and simplify. So when you simplify, you realize that the whole of this can cancel with this and remain with 3 plus 1, which is 4. So now we shall go to question 5, which says that express this as a single logarithm and simplify your answer. So this is what we are given. And we have to simplify. Now this square root is the same as the power half. Therefore that power half can go th this side become a half. Log base log base 10. So when there is no logarithm, it is base 10 of x squared minus 1. Now this half is common in both. So I am going to first pull it out and remain with this here and this here. Now this one is, this one is difference of 2 square. That is why you see here difference and addition. Now here these two logarithms are, are they have a plus in between them that is why you see a multiplication so this and this will be multiplied to get a single logarithm. But they told us to simplify our answer therefore you will start simplifying. So this, that means that this cancels with this and this one multiplied by this gives you x plus 1 squared. But the half is still maintained. So this power will go down will go down and will get a half times two log log base ten of x plus one. And this half with this one will cancel to remain with log base ten of x plus one. So now we shall go to logarithmic equations with similar base. Sometimes the bases will be different, but let's start with the one which has similar 
base. So question 1 says that given that log base 3 of x is equal to this, find the value of x. So shall first rewrite what is given, then we start using the rules. For example, this 2 can go this side to become 4 squared. Then we also remember that in board mass we use, we start with addition, then we go to subtraction. So this one addition will come here and this subtraction will be last. Therefore you come and say that this is 16 times 9 over 5 which is this. So when I simplify this I'll come up with that which is 28.8. And let's say this log 3 can cancel because here there is no coefficient and also here there is no coefficient. Therefore you end up with x being equal to 28.8. Now I shall go to question 2 which is that so for a in this. So that is what is given. Next is to say that this a to power 2 is equal to this. This is what is here. So next is to form a quadratic equation and simplify it, factorize it, or use bulldozer method to get the values of a. So when I factorize, I'll come up with a plus 3, a minus 2 equal to 0. And that implies that a is equal to negative 3, or a is equal to 2. Now I shall go to question 3, which is that prove that log base c of a b is equal to log base c of a plus log base c of b. And then solve the equation this. So let's start with the part of proof. Proving which has that let x be equal to this log base of a, implying that c to power x is equal to a, which is there. Then also let y be equal to log base of b, implying that c to power y is equal to b, which is that. So equation 1 multiplied by equation 2, we shall be able to come up with a times b, this side, and c to power x might, sorry, multiplied by c to power y. Now same base, you add the powers to come up with c to power x plus y. So putting log base c on both sides will give us log base c of a, b is equal to log base c of c to power x plus y. Now this power can also go this side to become this, x plus y in brackets multiplied by log base c of c. And you also know that the whole of this becomes 1, therefore you end up with x plus y. And the good thing we know that x was this and y was this, so what does that mean? It means that this one is equal to that as it was required. So now we shall go to the hence part, so for the hence part, that is what was given and we have to solve it. So this addition means that here it will be multiplication. Difference of two squares, we come up with x squared minus 4. Then the, it implies that the 8 to power 3 is equal to x squared minus 4, as you can see it here. So 8 to power 3 is equal to 5, 1, 2, and x squared will be equal to 5 and 6 when I take this for this side. Putting the square root will give me the value of x and it will be 22.7156. So now we shall go to question 4 which says that solve the equation this. So that is a given equation, you have to solve it so this as long as there is plus here, it will be my application there. And that is, that gives you that. Therefore, to eliminate the logarithm, we shall say 10 to power 1 is equal to this, as you can see it there. Expand, you'll come up with that. Then you'll come up with a quadratic equation, which is x squared plus x minus 12 equal to 0. You either factorize or use bulldozer method to get the values of x. So when I factorize, I'll come up with those two factors which is negative 3 and positive 4 so in the end I'll come up with x plus 3 x plus 4 multiplied by x minus 3 equal to 0 therefore x is equal to negative 4 or x is equal to 3 
but we know that lo, but we know that this one cannot be negative why because if i put this value here it will become log base sign of a negative number which is impossible therefore it is the positive value which is correct now we shall go to question 5 which is the solve the following logarithmic equation for y so that is a given equation and they want you to solve it first of all you should remember that it's the same base therefore the rules will, mat will work now what I'm going to do I'll take this one this side to come up with this line then this plus here means that it will be multiplication as you can see there then eliminate these logarithms because there's no coefficient here and also no coefficient there when I expand I'll come up with a quadratic which will be that a quadratic in y so I can either use bulldozer method or factorization to solve so if I use factorization I'll come up with those are the factors y minus 8 and y minus 12 so that will give me y equal to 8 and y equal to 12 so that brings us to the end of this video thank you for watching and be reminded the next video will be on quadratic equations so therefore if you have not yet subscribed please click on the subscribe button below this video so that you can receive updates when the next video on quadratic equations has been uploaded and also if you know any student who's not yet on this platform please share the link of this video with them via social media platforms like facebook and whatsapp so that you can all benefit as a family